Big shoulder day back at you today i'm warming up empty bar with some wild ass snatches just so i can get the behind the neck snatch grip press i love this shit uh i've been alternating between a push press a press from the pins an overhead press and then a behind the neck press so behind the neck you basically have to take it at a snatch grip so that when you come down your arm bones are at 90 degrees and it feels nice no added benefit to this, just a nice way to switch it up um, and feels really good for the warm up because that helps the scapula slide down and back. And I just started real light, um, five sets of five, just building up here. And then by the time it got heavy, I did presses from the pin, a couple of heavy ass triples. So still um, in this wild ass herky jerky snatch up but then super slow on the way down behind the neck i hear people saying this is bad for your shoulders but i say there's no exercise that's bad for you there's just bad form and you fucking shit up so if it's not good for you at the time don't do it if it hurts don't do it but there's a proper way to do every exercise so here's the pin presses nice and heavy getting up to fucking 225 or something or this is probably close to 205 for triples Feeling nice. You know I love fucking up shoulders. Big day. I save shoulders for Friday because it's a beautiful fucking day. Here we go. Going right into the dumbbell press, but today is something special. We're going with a Y press. You see how it's going out like a Y out to the sides and it's not coming straight up or even up and in like a traditional dumbbell press? Um, this was the first time I ever did this. Uh, it feels really fucking good. Do not attempt this if your shoulder hurts. Do not attempt this if you don't have good, like, a connection with your lats to stabilize the shoulder. Um, I loved it just because I can control my lats and my shoulders really well, and it keeps constant tension on the shoulder because there's no lockout with the triceps. It just puts your shoulder on a weird island out there where it's just tension, tension, tension because um, coming straight up, you briefly pause on the triceps when the elbows lock out and you use a lot more triceps. This is just a shoulder killer. I ended up doing like a million sets because I started light, not knowing where this was going to go to. But I've done them again since then, and I fucking like them. It's a nice little switch up from the regular dumbbells because, like I said, I mean, I got, I'm running the full stack. The, the dumbbells only go up to 120, so... I got to try new funky things to have fun here. I'm loving this. Instead of the um, dumbbell lateral raise, dead stop lateral raise. Don't do them on this fucking cable row here. Do them on a regular bench. This is all the only place I had to film. But coming from a dead stop is recruiting so much more muscle fibers with no momentum. And you can see the dumbbells don't get close to my body. They're just keeping tension on the lateral delts the whole time. So anything from a dead stop or from a pause uses no momentum. And that's just going to help you build some sweet, sweet gains and some sweet, sweet muscle. So fuck around with this. Try anything with a pause, anything with a dead stop. This was the last set, so I just hopped up and finished them off with some standing with a little momentum and a little swing action just to finish myself off now we're going upright rows for them uptight hoes to loosen them up boom um i love upright rows i do them with a kettlebell i do them with a dumbbell i do them with a cable and i do them with the barbell and i rotate those four in a month and then in the second month i try to make progress on all of them so i'm still doing the same movement the joints don't get banged up because it's a completely different modality 
Um, but we still make progress because we're pushing it. So this is pretty fucking heavy joints right here. Only uh, three sets of 12. Um, but I got up to the heaviest pre-made barbell, which is only, once again, 110 or 120. Um, fucking feels good. Let me tell you what. I love this. A little bit of fucking all three heads of the delt popping. Now we're moving into, you know I love these cable lateral raises, doing a little lean away action, but I'm also coming up and out like a Y. I do so many different variations of lateral raise because that's, you know, if you're looking for physique gains and just the image of a good physique, shoulders are key. Uh, everybody wants nice arms. Everybody wants nice chest. I think shoulders and back really make your physique as far as upper body. Um, and that's going to be different for everybody, but everybody loves some nice popping round pumpkin little shoulders. You know what I'm saying? So I'm leaning away here to get a nice angle. And the cable gives you a lot different feel resistance than the dumbbell. The dumbbell is the hardest and heaviest at the top, where this is hardy, hardest and heaviest when the cable is furthest away from the handle. So about mid-range or the bottom. So this is giving you a better stretch. Dumbbell's giving you better squeeze. Plus, as you can see, I'm coming up and out and externally rotating at the top. So I'm getting some of the back of the shoulder too and really keeping nice tension on the side of the shoulder. That's some nice fancy camera angles going on here. But um, as you can see, the, <clears throat> the shoulder blade rotates down and back, and that scapula tucks down, but I'm still keeping that fixed elbow position. It's not completely straight. It's not too bent. It's just a little bent, but locked and not moving. I get a little bit of momentum out of the bottom, but I really catch it and feel it at the top. Um, fucking love these, man. Uh, it's not redundant to do a whole bunch of lateral raising. I usually always do either a machine or a cable, even after doing dumbbells. This is the last set, so I just took it to failure. Uh, way easier to go to failure with two arms than one. Why fucking play games? You can see towards the end, there's some partial range of motion. Big stretch there. Big stretch at the bottom. And then I'm leaning into it and barely getting all the way up towards the end here, just taking them to failure. I'm really just fucking completely blowing up the medial delts to get them nice round shoulders with them striations. Looking good. I really don't love the reverse pec deck for rear delts, but I will do a video showing you how I usually do it with like pulsing and holding and squeezing some ISO stuff. But I just filmed one quick set here. Um, but I was just trying to kind of sort of isolate the rear delts here because I'm doing face pulls next, which gets the entire upper back and rotator cuff right here. Legit face pulls. All right. I'm using two ropes and I'm pulling out. All right. Not pulling back. Um, I got to do a video on face pulls because I see so many people doing them incorrectly. Just because you're pulling on a rope does not mean you're doing proper fucking face pulls. Um, the whole key is external rotation. So you're trying to get to like a front bicep pose at the at the end of the movement. But I'll do a full video on that. This is not the greatest dip machine, but I do love dip machines. So I threw in some of these um, just to take the chest out of it and isolate the triceps on a push down movement. Then we got overhead with my favorite little dual handles here. Getting a nice stretch. Notice how the cable is down and back and kind of matches the same angle as the upper arm bone. That's key. So you got tension going the same way that the muscle fibers go. Love those dual handles. If you got these fuckers at your gym, use them for all kind of shit. Same thing here. Super pump action at the end to finish off the biceps. I love this superset. Reverse curls for about 10 and then cable curls for about 10. You fucking pre-fatigue the forearms, the brachialis and the radial brachialis too, um, with the with the palms down reverse curls. So then the biceps are just all kinds of juicy when you're doing the regular curls here. I'm telling you guys, you need to fucking click like. It doesn't cost you nothing. Send it to everybody. Send it to your grandma. Send it to your hamster, your gerbil, your goldfish. Send it to everybody. Everybody wants to learn and get them sweet, sweet gains, especially for shoulders. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to grow out this ugly, gross beard that I got here, but you do want them arms and shoulders. I'm telling you should already be subscribed. I know you hit like in the beginning. You're sharing my shit. Um, have fun, guys. That's the key with everything. Having fun.